Uh, welcome to the 2024-622 Education Foundation Award of Excellence. I'm Kelly karwaski reichdahl and this is Doug Huntley, and we are representing the 622 Education Foundation. We're excited to celebrate and honor this year's Award of Excellence winners along, along with their families, nominators, and chosen mentors. First, a little background about our organization. The 622 Education Foundation was founded in 1996 with the mission of enhancing the quality of education for students in Independent School District 622. We are a nonprofit organization separate from the district, but dedicated to supporting it. Our 622 Education Foundation has an amazing board of dedicated volunteers who have helped put on this event. Could the, all the foundation board members tonight in the audience please stand? Our board is made up of 622 alumni and staff, business owners, public officials, community members, and all volunteers with a commitment and passion for the students in the district of 622. Thank you to our board members. You may sit down, thank you. Our primary fundraising event is the Click for a Cause virtual auction each November, and we are also very grateful for our community donors that contribute directly to the support our mission throughout the year. Donations support this Award of Excellence program, our granted teacher grant program, and our angel fund that helps 622 students and families facing financial hardship. Through the angel fund, our foundation works with social workers from each school to recognize the needs of students in our district. A great example this winter was the disbursement of 146 pairs of winter boots and nearly 400 winter gloves to help kids stay warm when going to and from school. For information on how to donate and get involved with our foundation, please visit our website at 622educationfoundation.com. And now on to the Award of Excellence program, why we're all here tonight. This award was created to honor graduates who have excelled in the characteristics of achievement, community, courage, imagination, integrity, and resilience. It celebrates the journey behind the achievement, the challenges overcome, the desire to make a positive difference, and the character to do so in a way that inspires others. To all the award recipients tonight, we are so very proud of you. Thank you for all you have given to our district. Now we encourage you to stay on your path of excellence and step into your future. Soon you'll be proud 622 alumni who make a difference in the world that so desperately needs that help. And now we'd like to introduce our superintendent, Christine Tucci Osorio, for her message this evening. Let's give her a warm welcome. Good evening, everybody. I'm so thrilled to be here. I have to tell you, as the superintendent, I've been here nine years. I've been here nine years in the role of superintendent. I'm also a Tartan mom of an alumni who graduated in 2018. I have to tell you, when I first got named superintendent for this school district, the very, and I mean very first phone call I got from anybody came from Kelly's dad, uh, our, the esteemed Stan Karwaski, who was then the mayor of Oakdale and is now one of our uh, Washington County commissioners, to say, please, are you gonna join the 62 Education Foundation? And I said, sure, of course, I'd love to. So it's really exciting to be here all these years later and not only to see all the amazing work that our Ed Foundation does, but how they're evolving with our student needs. This award ceremony tonight, and for all of our parents out here right now, and to our graduates, I want you to understand, this is a very robust process. It used to be a process that only awarded students that were in the top 10% of their class. But this foundation really realized there's so many things that are important for us to honor and recognize among our graduates. And so the comprehensive nature of tonight's award is an incredible testament to our education foundation. And I'm just gonna put in a plug. If you have any interest in becoming part of supporting public education, this is a great way to do that. Right now, I know for a lot of parents who might have been involved perhaps in your child's parent organization when your child was in elementary school, as they get older, you know, you, you end up gravitating toward booster clubs and whatnot. But truly, truly, this foundation is an amazing way to be involved across all the grade levels, continue to support the efforts, and not only that, but you don't even have to live here. If you moved 
outside of the district and you lived in a neighboring community, you could still be a member of this board. Um, they're amazing to work with, they're fun, they're great innovative thinkers, so I just wanna encourage you if you haven't thought about that. The other thing I'm gonna make a plug for is if you haven't considered donating to the cause, please check out their website. Personally, I signed up to donate every month in a regular fashion, kind of like if you've ever listened to public radio and those kind of entities. You can set up to be kind of a sustaining member, like you can continue to cr contribute monthly. I encourage you, if you haven't done it, every little bit helps. All this funding, it's a, compu a completely uh, volunteer board. So there's nobody making money off of this. All the money that's collected goes directly into services for our students and our families. And so I just really wanna encourage you to consider donating and or joining. Um, and to our graduates, we could use you on our board too. Um, we'd love to have former students on our board. We already have some right now, and we'd love to have more. So I just wanna thank and congratulate all of you right now. This award tonight, to me, is one of the most prestigious awards you can get because it really looks at the whole child, all of the amazing things they're doing. And we all know among our high schoolers how exhausted they are because they're trying to do everything in 24 hours a day. And so I just wanna recognize, this is about students not only academic performance, which is amazing, but also their contribution to our community, their volunteerism, their leadership, all these other qualities that matter so much. And I wanna thank our 62 Education Foundation Board for recognizing that and really leaning in to honor and recognize the incredible gifts of our graduates. So tonight is all about you. We're so proud of you. And to the parents and family members, we're grateful for your leadership as well because these students would not be where they are if it hadn't been for you either. So thank you for that. And let's enjoy the evening. Thank you, Christine, for your support. We really appreciate it. We wouldn't be as successful without you and you're advocating for our foundation. Um, and with that, we would like to introduce our Tartan student and Award of Excellence recipient, Ellie Vokers, to the stage. Let's give Ellie a warm welcome. Hello, families, friends, staff members, and most importantly, our ISD 622 Award of Excellence recipients. My name is Ellie Volkers, and I am honored to be the student speaker for this event, honoring all of our ex excellent students at Tartan High School. I want to start off by th thanking the Award of Excellence Committee, your dedication to ensuring across-the-board representation, as well as the passion and commitment you show to honoring these students in our community does not go unnoticed. Without the contributions that the 622 Education Foundation generates and distributes, these successes wouldn't be possible. These allow us to create, enri create, enrich, and expand programs that enhance the quality of our education and are a big reason why many of us are here today. So thank you for allowing us to expand our potential during our time in District 622. I want to highlight the impact this district has on our surrounding community. I believe community is a very pivotal aspect to the success of our students. Having a sense of pride in the circle that, you, that watched you grow up builds lifelong connections, connects learning to the real life, and allows our community to dig deep roots in the impact we are very care capable in making. I want to extend my thanks on behalf of all the recipients to our mentors. Out of everyone we could have chosen, you made the greatest impact throughout our time in this district. As an educator, advisor, or staff member, your contributions to this district have not been overlooked. Today, we not only celebrate the success of 32 Tartan students, but also making sure to celebrate with the white, right people. That got us here. Now to my fellow classmates. You are here because you showed one or more of the following. A sense of achievement, community, courage, resilience, integrity, and imagination. Whatever those words mean to you, capture them and take pride in knowing that you are a big part in the greatness of our school and our school district. Tonight, we honor you. We honor the hard work and dedication you have showed. We honor your creativity and your innovation and the leadership and impact you have on others. Tonight, we honor all of you and your accomplishments. 
When you leave today, I want you to take at least one thing with you. The saying, what are you doing for others? Many of you have an immediate answer, and well, that's probably the reason why you're here. But if you don't, well, that's probably the reason you're here, but if you don't, go out and achieve your accomplishments for yourself and those who stand in your corner. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ellie. That was an awesome job. And Junior, you got a tough act to follow now. <laughs> but we'd like to invite you on up. Come on up here. Junior Eugene, Tartan Assistant pr Principal. Um, please share your words of advice. Shirley, good evening, parents, guardians, staff, and our incredible seniors of Tartan High School. Good evening. This is truly an amazing occasion. Um, as I look here, stand here tonight, just to be part of this ceremony is truly remarkable. Um, the past four years, I've, been, I've had the pleasure of being your administrator, and just to be here is truly a, a, an amazing experience. Um, when I think of this incredible occasion, we're truly here to gather to celebrate excellence, resiliency, and the remarkable uh, achievements of all our outstanding scholars. Um, as the 12th grade administrator, like I said, it's truly a privilege to be here tonight, uh, to stand here before you. It, 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 it means something. It means more. Um, if those of you guys that know me, this is, uh, this is a very special moment because I've had such meaningful relationship with all of our students. And so um, it's bittersweet, but um, here we are. But less about me. But I do want to reflect a little bit on the past four years. Um, it's been truly filled with overwhelming, just a sense of pride and admiration. Each of our, our scholars have really embarked on this journey of growth and self-discovery. And tonight, we have an opportunity to come together and honor their dedication and hard work. It hasn't been easy. It's been, there's been some highs and lows, right? But despite the various challenges, distractions, that surround us daily. Our scholars we recognize tonight have remained committed to their pursuit of excellence. Um, they've demonstrated this remarkable uh, sense of determination and consistently performed at the highest level to earn their place of honor here tonight. The recipients of these prestigious awards have been nominated in various categories, each representing a fundamental aspect of leadership, achievement, commitment, resiliency, courage, imagination, and integrity. These qualities embody true leadership. And students, as you transition to your next chapter, I urge you to hold on to those virtues, carry them with you, because um, it, it, it's those virtues that really separate you from everyone else. Remember, I've heard this from my high school counselor, life is a journey um, consisting of experience, challenges and triumphs. And as you navigate through those moments and those challenges, I encourage you to embrace every opportunity for growth. Challenge yourself to remain disciplined in your pursuit. And above all, be kind to yourself and others. Tonight, we recognize our achievements. We recognize your achievements and our achievements, because this is a community effort. Um, but let us also look forward to the future with hope and optimism. For each one of your lives truly holds this potential to shape a brighter and better tomorrow. To make the difference in the world, I think truly you guys will leave a mark of, a mark on the minds and hearts of all of us around you. And to be here is truly remarkable and be part of your journey. So congratulations, scholars, on well-deserved recognition. May your journey ahead be filled with endless possibilities and may you continue to inspire, inspire all of us with your passion, determination, and unwavering Titan spirit. Thank you. May your light, your brilliance, your essence shine brightly for all the world to see. Thank you.
What great words. Thank you so much again, Junior. Now, before we showcase the amazing tribute video submitted by your chosen mentors, we want to thank those who nominated the recipients tonight. Could everyone in the audience who nominated a student please stand up? We appreciate all the time you devoted to recognizing these wonderful young adults. Nominations are the heart of this program, and anyone can nominate a graduating student. So please consider doing so in the future as well. Thanks, nominators. We'd now like to bring up Tartan High School Principal Bethany Descent. Please join me in showing our appreciation to Principal Descent. Hello, everyone. I'm Bethany Descent, principal of Tartan High School. This is my second year being the principal here at Tartan. Um, and it's been wonderful to see these seniors become seniors. And it's nights like these where it's so fun to be able to celebrate the amazing accomplishments and all that has happened um, and really culminating in those four years. So I would like to thank all of you for coming out tonight to celebrate our students who have shown up in amazing ways in their time here, um, not only at Tartan, but in the 622 community. And I really want to thank the 622 Foundation as well for making this night even possible. Um, so I have the amazing opportunity of welcoming you all tonight, but also to recognize these students and their mentors. So just a couple things before we get started. Students. This is for you, okay? As I go through the presentation, don't worry, it'll be okay. Um, but I'm gonna ask for you to stand when I say your name and to stay standing while we hear from your mentor. And then you can sit, okay? Um, and then I also ask that the audience holds the applause until we've recognized all of the students. Thank you. First student, Ramadan Ambo. I'm Marta Stuckel, 622's high school science specialist, and I had the privilege of being Ramadan Ambo's physics teacher last year. Ramadan is a deeply curious student, and I was always excited when he would ask a question because it meant he was either doing some deep thinking or making an interesting connection. Ramadan enriched our class, and I am confident that he will enrich his campus next year. I wish Ramadan and all of the other Award of Excellence recipients the best in their next endeavors. Kendall Buffalo. My name is Allison Oli, and I've had the privilege of being Kendall Buffalo's volleyball coach this year. I've seen firsthand Kendall's ability to strengthen our Tartan community through not only her words, but her actions as well. She lives and leads with integrity. She has also shown excellence in our community through her work as president of HAC with Relay for Life. I am so proud of the leader and person Kendall has become this year, and I know she'll go on to do great things at UW-Madison. Best of luck, Kendall. Simone Chulamantri. Hi, my name is Jason Arndt. I am Simone Chulamantri's tennis coach at Tartan High. I think one of Simone's greatest attributes is her imagination or creativity. She's always looking for creative ways to serve others, using her brilliant mind, her tennis skills, or even her artistic ability. Simone and the rest of the talented award recipients, I wish you the best in the future. Congratulations. Like Simone, keep using your talents to creatively serve others. Kiefer Dick. Hello, my name is Alexis Greengard, and I have the honor of being Kiefer Dick's mentor. I met Kiefer last year as a section leader in the band. He is one of the kindest and most hardworking people I have ever met. If he sets his mind to something, you can guarantee it'll be done and it'll be done well. And if someone needs help, he'll be the first one there. Congratulations, Kiefer, you are so deserving of this award. I wish you the best of luck with wherever life takes you and I can't wait to see the incredible impact you'll have on the world. Eliora Ditley. 
Hi, I'm Tracy Brown, and I had Eliora Ditley in two years of AP history and four years of track. And what I love most about Eliora is that she shows up. She doesn't just show up like she's present, like she's there. She shows up 100% of herself, 100% of the time. And whatever it is that needs to be get done, she gets it done. Eliora, congratulations on everything that you have already done. And good luck for your future. I know you're going to be amazing. Benjamin Fox. My name is Matthew Duffy. I'm a chemistry teacher at Tartan High School, and I had Ben in my chemistry class last year. Um, I would say that Ben is in the top 1% of all the students that I have had in my 30 plus year career. Uh, four words that come to my mind are curious, thoughtful, affable, and genuine. I would hope that Ben takes these attributes to wherever he goes, he'll be successful. That is for sure. Samuel Gottfried. My name is Julianne Malcolm. I'm an educator in St. Paul, and I've known Sam Gottfried his whole life. Sam is a problem solver, a deep thinker, a strategist, and he's also kind and thoughtful. I know that he'll do phenomenal things because I've seen all he's accomplished already. He's got a bright future ahead, and we'll all benefit when he steps into his leadership role. Um, congratulations to you and to everybody uh, at tonight's award ceremony. So proud of you, Sam, and so honored to be your auntie. Vienne Gehera. Hello, my name is Jasmine Wheeler. It has been my privilege to have Vienne Guerrera in my classes the last few years. I'm so proud of how hard he has worked and all that he has accomplished. His resiliency also has been so inspiring. Congratulations, Vienne, and all of the award recipients. Caitlin Hackman. Hi, I'm Kristen Kabeck and I'm a math teacher at Tartan High School. I want to congratulate Caitlin Hackman on her award tonight. Caitlin is a super high achiever and she works really hard at everything that she does in my class and I know at all of her classes at Tartan High School. I want to wish her the best of luck next year at St. Scholastica where I know she will continue to succeed and do great things. Good luck. Alex Heeman. Hi, my name is Jamie Myers, and I was Alex's English teacher junior year and his debate coach for the past two years here at Tartan. Alex is a remarkable young person who truly has blossomed into a critical thinker and advocate for others. A hard worker who is determined to help and lead others, I know that whatever he chooses to do in his future, he will be creative, imaginative, and brave. It is my pleasure to honor you, Alex, this evening. Go off and change the world. Tamezgan Isaac. So I met Tommy during his freshman year at Tarn High School. He was uh, one of my soccer players. I was very impressed of uh, his abilities, not only in the soccer field, but his compassion nature. During his sophomore year, I had the honor of mentor uh, Tommy. I was pretty surprised by who he was, the qualities that he possessed as a person. His family and his teammates meant the world to him. And for that, uh, I was happy to see that there were people in the community that care so much. And what I will say to Tommy and the rest of the class of uh, 2024 is that giving up is never an option. Ella Joyce. Hello, I'm Heather Veraniker, and I am so excited to hear that Ella Joyce won the Award of Excellence for Community and Integrity. I have known Ella for a few years as her school counselor and avid mentor. Ella has been a great role model and done a fantastic job of bringing people together. Congratulations, Ella. You have such a bright future, and I'm so excited to see the person you grow into. Christian Kasperzik. Reagan Capon. Hi, my name is Amy Rutherford. I was Reagan Capon's eighth grade math teacher at Skyview Middle School. Reagan was my student during March of 2020. Um, Reagan showed so much resilience uh, trying to learn math over Zoom. Um, she continued with this resilience all through her career at Tartan High School. Reagan, as you finish up your last month of 
high school. I want to wish you the best of luck and you're going to do great at UW Eau Claire. Congrats. Gianna Kelsa. I met Gianna Kisla during her freshman year at Darn High School. She and I became close when I started working with one of her friends. Two years later, she became my Check and Connect uh, mentee, and we worked for the last two years. What impressed me most about uh, G is her resilience, and uh, although she doubted herself many times, she always knew that she had what it takes to be successful in life. The best advice that I have for you, G, is to always be you and to never give up. Sarah Lambert. Hey, my name is Jason Arndt. I'm Sarah Lambert's tennis coach at Tartan High. I think one of Sarah's biggest strengths is her ability to build community. As a tennis captain, her leadership qualities and infectious spirit help grow our tennis team into a healthy, fun, supportive community. Sarah and all the rest of the award recipients, congratulations. I'm so thankful to see future leaders ready to use their gifts to help serve others. Alexander Liebachen. Good evening. My name is Dylan Eck, and I have the honor of speaking on behalf of Xander. When I think of Xander, the first thing that comes to mind is his dedication to perfection. Last year, we spent many hours working on the dreaded U.S. History Study Guide. Xander's pursuit of knowledge reminds us that history is not just about the past, it's about the future we're striving to create. Remember that history is made by those who show up. So show up, stand out, and make history. You're the ones that are creating the next chapter. Lorraine Molelinoff. Bonjour, Anine, and hello. My name is Jen Nelson, and I'm a part of the American Indian Education Program for our district. Our whole department nominated Lainey Mollenhoff for the Award of Excellence, and we could not be proud of her as a student and a member of our community. Lainey has been a part of our program since elementary school and grew up in our Indian education family. And from the beginning, she had an enthusiasm for learning about her culture, and she's also been a role model both for her kindness and her respect. So on behalf of all of us, goodbye for now, but you are never really done with Indian Ed, and we know that you're gonna live well and be true to yourself, so take care. Abigail Nason. Hi, my name is Miss Kenoki. I am Abby's mentor. The one thing that I admire most about Abby is her resilience. No matter what she goes through or what comes her way, she always comes out stronger than ever. Um, I am so proud of you, and I cannot wait to see what your future holds. Kirsten Quam. Hi, I'm Tracy Brown, and I had Kirsten Quam in track and AP US history. One of my favorite things about Kirsten in history was that she always made sure we knew where we were in the objectives guide. That may seem like a silly thing, but I really like a good plan. And it brought joy to my heart that Kirsten was always with the plan. Kirsten, you have a really good plan for the future and you have everything that you need to achieve it. I wish you the very best of luck. And low key, I can't wait to come visit you in France. Shay Rush. Hi, I'm Ms. Lowe, and I was Shay Rush's American Sign Language teacher for two years. Um, she has been recognized for her resiliency, and it's well-deserved. She has had a lot of, like, unfortunate health issues being thrown in her way, but she always comes back stronger and better and still with a great positive attitude. It's been an, an absolute pleasure getting to know her. I can't wait to see what the future holds for you, Shay. Best of luck. Keep me posted. Malaya Reynolds. Hi, I'm Vicki Kapan, and I've known Malaya for two years as a student in BPA. Malaya has really stepped up her game in her senior year, taking on several leadership roles, improving her grades, and getting involved in the community. Did you know she regularly starts work at 5 a.m.? How many high school students do you know who are willing to do that? And she does it with a big, beautiful smile. Best of luck to you, Malaya. Please come back to tell me about all of your future successes. Elliot Robitaille. Hello, my name is Tori Welsh, and I've had the pleasure of getting to know Elliot Robitaille as her school counselor and softball coach. Elliot is a very community-minded individual. She goes above and beyond to listen and include those around her. 
I have been very impressed by her commitment to her academics and extracurricular activities throughout high school. I'm so proud of you and good luck at St. Thomas. Travis Ross. Hello everyone, my name is Priest Ross. I am Travis Ross's father, but he also has selected me as his mentor, which is a great honor. Um, the two things that I think I value about Travis and I think the people around him value is his integrity and his perseverance. Travis is a very honest person. He will always make the decision that's best for everybody um, around him so that everybody's comfortable. And I like that about him. Um, perseverance is Travis has been through a lot of challenges like most people in life, but he keeps going and he keeps fighting. He's a resilient kid. So I'm proud of you for that, son. Um, but to all the recipients of 2024 uh, Award of Excellence, congratulations. Uh, keep up the great work. Life will have a lot of challenges, but you got to keep picking yourself up and fighting through them, and you will succeed. I promise you. I promise you. Promise you that. Let's see, Salguero Caballero. Hi, my name is Kristen First, and the student that I've nominated is Let's see, Salguero Caballero. I've known Leslie since her freshman year of high school as an AVID student. And the word that comes to mind when I think of Letsy is resilience. She has overcome many challenges and consistently wants to challenge herself academically as a PSEO student and as a student who is always eager and willing to learn. That's why I know she's gonna be really successful at Concordia next fall. Olivia Stein. Hello, my name is Iker Leal Veloz de Goitia, and I have been uh, mentoring Olivia for the last two years. She has been in all of my classes and she has also been my TA for the last couple of years. Olivia's biggest strengths are leadership and the ability getting other students to collaborate in class. Olivia, I want you to know that the, the best is yet to come and that if you work hard, you will be rewarded. I am proud of you. Amaya Tanner. Hi, my name is Jamie Myers, and I was Amaya's English teacher both sophomore and junior year and acted as her mentor. When I think about Amaya and all of the amazing resilience she has shown throughout her high school experience, I often think about her courage and her witty sense of humor. Amaya is kind, creative, and smart. She is a person who puts others before her and is an exemplary actor and scholar. I'm thrilled to honor her this evening as she prepares to graduate high school and continue on to college. Congratulations, Amaya, on all that you have accomplished. And remember, this is only the beginning. Sabrina Tao. Hi, I'm Vicki Kapan, and I've known Sabrina for two years as a student in BPA. This year, the BPA students voted her our local BPA president. Sabrina is a wonderful example in the classroom. Always doing the right thing, completing quality work before the deadline, and with a great attitude. She's extremely trustworthy and is the kind of person that you just know is going to go far in life. In fact, the Tartan seniors voted her most likely to save the world. I have no doubt. Good luck, Sabrina, at the U of M and far beyond. Isabella Tucker. My name is Kristen First, and the student that I've nominated is Isabella Tucker. I've known Isabella since her freshman year as an AVID student and then later on as a National Honor Society member. The most admirable attribute of Isabella is her commitment to community and helping out at Tartan and other events that we've put on with National Honor Society. And it's why I know she's gonna continue impacting others at University of Wisconsin La Crosse next fall. Ellie Volkers. My name is Scott Lotze and I'm one of the co-advisors of Tartan Student Council. I have the privilege of introducing Ellie Volkers as an Award of Excellence winner from the 622 Education Foundation. I've known Ellie for the past four years as a member of Tartan Student Council and for three of those years, each of the years she was eligible, she served on our leadership team. Ellie is an extremely hardworking student a strong leader, a kind person, and all in all, just a great human being. Everyone at Tartan will miss her and her impact that she's had over the last four years. Congratulations, Ellie. I wish you nothing but the best. Jack Worth. Hi, I'm Colin Kilbane, a teacher at Tartan High School. I know Jack Worth as a student in my classes, a member of the robotics team, and as a BSA scout leader. Jack is one of the most intelligent, capable, and imaginative students I've ever had the pleasure of teaching. 
He is active in the community as shown by his Eagle Scout project to make accessibility ramps for adaptive hockey. I know Jack has the personal and professional skills to succeed wherever life takes him. Faith Yang. Hello, my name is Shining Lori, and I am honored to have known Faith Yang from Thrive Youth Ministries at River Life Church. Faith is one of the most driven, hardworking, kind, and thoughtful individuals I have ever met. She is so deserving of all the characteristics she was nominated for and so much more. Faye plans to attend St. Kate's this fall, majoring in biochemistry. Faye, I am so incredibly proud of you and excited to see what you would do in life. And I pray for abundance of blessings over you and your future. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations to all of the recipients of this award. You are so well deserving of this. Now, let's take a moment to recognize all of the mentors that we have here tonight. So if I could please have the mentors stand. Let's give them a round of applause. Thank you to all of our Award of Excellence mentors for sending in your self-directed and self-produced heartfelt video tributes to your students. We also want to take a moment to thank our selection committee for reading through all of the fabulous nominations, and thank you again to all who nominated this phenomenal group of individuals. Our event this evening could not happen without Tartan's staff, April Vevins, and the tech team here tonight helping with sound and lights. Uh, we greatly appreciate your support. We also want to thank SCC Channel 19 for broadcasting our virtual event this year. Our program tonight will also be rebroadcast, so please see the program for more details. All right, the moment we've been waiting for. So, we're going to have all of the Award of Excellence recipients come on up on stage here. We're going to form two rows, so come on up, and as you do so, we're going to just give a little more recognition here. So this event tonight would not be possible without our generous Award of Excellence donors. The Award of Excellence donations go directly towards the 10, 10 $500 educational grants that we're going to draw shortly. The 622 Foundation would like to take a moment to recognize the Award of Excellence grant funders who have donated $500 or more to our program tonight. Starting with the 622 Superintendent's Cabinet, Nan Fransworth Drews and Paul Drews, Pam and Doug Huntley, Marilyn Hobbs, Janet and Tom Jacobson, Carrie jo Johannesson and John Sternhaus, Becky ne Nevy, North St. Paul High School Administration and staff, North St. Paul Maplewood Oakdale Education Association, Premier Banks, Rotary Club of North St. Paul Maplewood Oakdale, and Uplift Training Gym, Karen Schleider, or Schleicher. And you can see all of our generous Award of Excellence donors listed in your program and on our website. All right, the moment we've been waiting for, we're gonna make the drawing now, and we had Kathy Seaford join us. She's co-president of our foundation, and we're gonna go ahead and get there, but yeah, please, come on in. Find a, find a seat and squeeze in a little bit, guys, okay? All right, do you wanna do the honors? Our first grant winner is Shay Reich. All right, the second one is Alex Ham Herman.
Here to Sarah Lambert. Fourth is Elliot Rabatile. Fifth is Benjamin Fox. Six is Ellie Volkers. Seventh is Let's see Sigler of Calero. Eighth is Simone Chalamantri. Ninth is Abigail Nason. All right, and last one. Tenth is Sabrina Tao. Right, so if we can keep all the recognized students here up on stage, we can get some quick photos, and then um, we'll get the, the grant award winners. We're gonna get your information down a little bit. But for closing remarks here, we have an incredible dessert and refreshment following our program. So even if you weren't selected, the bonus is you get to go to the food first. The other ones have to wait a little bit more. Um, please be sure if you want, you can get photos taken with your family, your mentor, nominators. We have the screen set up for that. And we also have a professional photographer here. You can look for the event photos. They're going to be showing up in the coming week on our foundation's website or also on our Facebook page. So again, thank you again for everyone involved here in making this a successful event. And congratulations once again to the 2024 622 Education Foundation Award of Excellence recipients.